Welcome back to my channel. So I went to IMATS yesterday, um, Friday the 13th. It was pro night. There's like a lot less people on Friday than there is on Saturday and Sunday. Usually at the shows, especially on pro night, they'll have discounts. Um, if you're a pro, sometimes you'll get an extra discount or like normally everything at the shows is discounted anywhere from like 20 to 40%. I've never actually been to pro night, but I am a licensed cosmetologist, so I was able to get a ticket and I really enjoyed myself. Um, the lines were not as long. I kind of got to see pretty much almost every booth that I wanted to go to, so it was really fun. I didn't go super crazy this year because I'm going to New York in like two weeks and I wanted to save money for New York, um, but I did get a good amount of things. I tried to be smart this year with my money and you know buy things that I actually needed as opposed to things that I wanted. And I also have so much makeup that like I really don't need anymore. I did get some really cool stuff and I just wanted to show you guys what I bought and I'm gonna do some swatches of some of the stuff just to kind of show you guys because I bought some like new things. So let's get started. The very first booth that we went to was House of Lashes and I just got these two pairs of lashes. I'm actually wearing this one right now. These are the Siren Minis and this is the Featherette. So the Minis are cool because it's what it sounds like. They're mini, they're shorter, the um, band circumference is shorter, 
which makes it really awesome because normally like my eyes are small so I have to cut the bands but this lets you still wear the style without compromising the style you don't have to cut any of it off so I'm actually gonna show you guys these are the ones that I'm wearing they're siren they're a little more on the natural side but I still think they're really pretty and I didn't have to cut them which was really cool because usually I have to cut all my lashes so I definitely will be buying more of these. These I think were seven and they're normally 12 and these were eight and they're normally either 12 or 14. If you were the first 150 people in line, you got a free lash story, which is the reason that we went there super early because I was trying to get some free shit. And it's really cool. It literally holds like so many pairs of lashes but this is really cool if you travel a lot and you have all these little pairs of lashes that always get you know ruined or like you shove them in your purse and they get bent and stuff so this is like super cool it holds tons of lashes and then it also has a little space for their glue as well um, the house of lashes glue and then I got this little pack of beauty blenders I literally buy one of these every year at the show and like use them throughout the year and it basically just comes with three normal size beauty blenders, a purple, a black, and a pink. And then it comes with a little mini of the liquid cleanser, and it comes with one of the little green, like, under eye ones. So this little kit was $35, which is awesome because technically you're paying, like, less than $10 for each one of these. So this is a really good deal. That's why I buy these every year. Basically, I'll buy one a year, and um, I just use them throughout the year, and I don't have to pay $20 for a sponge. I'm really excited about this one. So this was at Shop Violet Voss, and it's basically one of those little, like, silicone sponges that everybody is freaking out about. Um, it's not the original one because I think Molly Cosmetics did the original one or something like that But it's basically a little silicone applicator and um, If you want me to film a video like a first impressions video Let me know because I actually have not used it yet But the idea is that it doesn't waste any foundation because it is like completely non-porous um, and you just put on your foundation like normal and you can like dab it on here and then on your skin or you can apply the foundation directly to your skin and then just like dab it in and it's supposed to be good for like any type of like liquid product like liquid blush or like cream um, bronzer or just like anything that you want to use that's liquid or cream and this was eight dollars I think I don't even know if these are on their website yet um, it might have just been like a show special but I just picked one up because I was curious and so we'll see how that works out I kind of picked this one up on a whim because um, I work at Sephora and I saw that we had like got these but they haven't come out yet technically it is the Makeup Forever, the Star Lit Liquid. So it's essentially like, I don't know. I guess you could call it like a highlight. It looks like nail polish, but it's not. <laughs> it's this really cool like liquid highlight and it's like very glittery. And I got the number two, so it's like a really pretty pink. And let me show you a swatch of it because it's to die for. So it's it, it literally looks like nail polish. It's got like a little like brush applicator I just thought the pink was so pretty and like I don't really own anything like this but it's very glittery so if you're not into glitter it might not be your thing but it's just a liquid that you can kind of like blend out with your fingers or with like a beauty blender and you know, I feel like you could layer this if you wanted to do like a really dramatic look, but it also just kind of blends out. I'm really excited to use this, I think, on my cheeks and my eyes and probably even like my lips. So I'm not sure when these officially come out. They might be on Sephora's website, um, but the retail is $22 and then with my pro discount, I think it was like $15.50. As a pro at Makeup Forever, you get 40% off. So that was really cool. I picked that up because discounts, they spend money. The second booth we actually went to was Sugar Pill and I got to talk to Amy who is the owner and creator of Sugar Pill and she's always so sweet and I love going to their booth because they always have like super cute packaging and all the girls who work you know the makeup shows are always super nice so I always love to stop at Sugar Pill and these are the Sugar Pill Pro pans they don't come in like the plastic container so these are good if you have like a Z palette and you just want to throw them in there I believe these are eight dollars and that was the show price I want to say these are twelve dollars online 
so you get a pretty good discount. So this is Mochi. Um, I just picked this up because I didn't really have any color like this that was matte. The color payoff is like fabulous. So I'm gonna swatch it. There's a swatch of Mochi. Their colors are super nice and super buttery. And I also purchased Kimchi, which is the collaboration color that they did with Kimchi, the drag queen. So I'm gonna swatch this for you on my wrist, right next to Mochi. I really like their eyeshadows. And I also picked up one of the Pretty Poison lip colors. I've already tried them. I know that I like the formula. So I bought the color Euphoria, and it's like this really, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like a foresty green slash turquoise. I don't really own anything like it, so I thought I'd pick it up. And their packaging is so cute. It's like a little pill and it's all glittery and I just think they're the darn cutest. These lipsticks are matte. They're very creamy but they kind of dry to like a semi matte finish. But see I bought so many like blue things. I don't know why. So here are the close-ups of all the swatches, the lipstick, and the two eyeshadows. So I was obviously going with like a green turquoise theme but the lipstick is super creamy and pigmented and the eyeshadows are really buttery, so I'm very happy with those. Moving on. Morphe was actually one of the last stores that we went to, but I just bought some like cheapy like brushes for um, face painting and like detail eyeliners. Um, these literally were all like two to three dollars each. Some like nice synthetic brushes. I'm using like special effects makeup like liquid latex. I don't ruin my brushes. So I just bought some like cheapy, cheapy little brushes. So I went to Lit Cosmetics. I purchased their glitters at Sephora like when they first came out and I fell in love with this. It is their liquid glitter adhesive. So I went and splurge for the big size but this was only $15. I like a liquid glitter adhesive because it doesn't get all thick. It's not like a gross consistency and you have a lot of control with the glitter and like where you want to place it. And it lets you also build up the coverage of the glitter without having it like get cracky. I've always used liquid glitter adhesive so I love this. And I don't know how much this runs on their actual website but if you're looking for a good glitter adhesive I highly recommend it. If you were a pro, they were running a sale, you like bought one, bought anything from their store and you would get a free glitter. So I technically got this one and then I got this one for free. I think these normally on their website run anywhere from like 12 to $14. So I got this really pretty blue and it's called Bar Star. And I got size number two, so it's like a medium grit glitter. So it's not super fine, but it's not super chunky. And then this one is called Dreamsicle. It reminds me of Trinket from Sugar Pill, the color. It's like very kind of like a peachy pink, but it's got little reflects of like gold and yellow and I just thought it was super pretty. Those are the two glitters I got from Lit. And while I'm on the subject of glitter, I went to Eye Candy Cosmetics and picked up a few glitters there. They were running a special, it was three glitters for $10 which was a super great deal because I think they're normally like $7. Um, and I picked up this really pretty, oh this one, like this really pretty like mermaid green, yellow, blue reflective and it's actually what I'm wearing on my eyes right now. And then I got this kind of like chunkier blue glitter, the particles are a little bigger. And then I got these like little cute mini stars, I've always kind of wanted like small confetti glitter like this so I picked this up and this is the glitter that I am wearing on my eyes right now and it's so pretty. None of the eye candy cosmetics glitters have names because these were in like a grab bag of um just like a bunch of random glitters that they were getting rid of so I don't know they're not named so they might have just been like samples or something they were trying out so but if you go on their website they have like literally like a hundred shades of glitter so you can probably find something similar I went to a Wolfie Face Art FX Cosmetics they always have a booth and I just picked up like some water cake paints um, these are really good if you're looking to like practice face painting. These were $8 each. I don't know the price normally. And then this little like baby palette of metallics was only $4. 
I actually probably should have bought more of these, but I just thought it was cute and it kind of lets you try out their um, metallic paints, which I've never tried. I got some more of the Ben Nye Final Seal because I have used this before and I love it. It's technically for like theater makeup um, to set, you know, really heavy like theater cake makeup, but if you're looking for like a matte setting spray, this is literally amazing like the first time I used it I did everything like my contour my highlight and then I sprayed it and it literally like made my highlight like not shiny it was weird like <laughs> it mattified everything it has a really strong mint scent um and so you kind of have to like not breathe in when you use it but I if you have really oily skin I highly recommend it this size at the show was I think eight dollars but normally I think it's 12 and it's uh, two ounces and last but not least the bonus Jonas. I didn't technically buy this at IMAX. I bought this off Anastasia's website like a week ago. It just so happened that it showed up in my house when I came home from IMAX. So I literally like went and spent all this money on makeup and then I came home to more makeup. They were selling this at the Anastasia booth. I didn't actually go to the Anastasia booth because the line was pretty long and um, their discount was I think like 25 or 30 percent um, and on Anastasia's website normally I get 35 percent because I have a pro discount so basically everything was like the same price that I normally get it for so I just didn't really like need anything. This is their brand new artist lip palette <clears throat> and it's basically just a bunch of um, different colors. The concept behind this is you can kind of like mix your own lip colors. It comes with like a little lip brush and then it's actually cool because the other side is a spatula so you can actually like scoop the product out and then mix it up with the brush and then it also came with a little tiny like mixing palette which is super cute. This is actually like the perfect kit for somebody who's kind of looking to get into, you know, making their own colors and just kind of experimenting with makeup in general. This, I believe, is $48 retail and with my pro discount, I think it was like $30 shipped, like super good deal. If you'd like to see like a video where I go through some like color combinations that you can make with this, let me know and maybe I'll make like a little mixing chart video. That would be kind of fun to see what colors you'd get. Um, you can pretty much make infinite colors because it has like the white, the black, all the primary colors, the red, yellow. Um, so you can really mix like any shade you want. So yeah, that's pretty much everything that I bought at IMAT. I think I'll definitely be going on pro night from now on just because the lines are not as long. If you are a pro and you've been going on Saturday and Sunday, I would highly recommend going on pro night. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I hope all you sexy people have a sexy week. And I will see you next time I make a video. Bye!